This video will demonstrate custom node and custom library development for Node-RED. If you're not uh, familiar with Node-RED, Node-RED is a web-based programming environment um, designed for the IoT world. Um, it comes native on Raspberry Pi's Raspbian OS, as well as uh, it's installable to Linux, Windows, and uh, OS X environments as well. Um, for this demonstration, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, with the standard Raspbian operating system. And we'll just be creating a few files. We'll have an HTML file for the node's appearance. We'll have a JavaScript file for the control of the node. And we'll have a JSON file, which holds all those things together. Um, let's power this thing up and get started. So we'll go to the Node-RED website. That's node-red.org. Uh, there's quite a lot of useful information in here about creating your first node. It explains the file structures, um, the different files required, and what those files need to look like. Um, but uh, it doesn't do a great job of showing you how to pull all of those together. So what we'll do is we'll just do a functional um, example of that. Um, first off, uh, you can take a look at the file system and the file structure uh, that I created. I created a, a project called uh, Hello World. And you'll see my main folder is node-red-contrib-demo. Uh, uh, this is the standard naming uh, practice for node-red nodes. And in this, I've got a, a very um, simple file structure. I've got two files that I've opened here. One's a JavaScript file and one is HTML. Now in my JavaScript file, you'll see that it calls, um, it calls the node uh, in the top line, or uh, calls function red. Then we create a custom function called hello world in here. And in this hello world is where we name our variables and uh, we wrote just a little bit of logic. And at the very bottom, we uh, register this uh, as hello world, um, calling the hello world um, function block or function. Over in our HTML file, um, we can really break this down. So um, here's a diagram of how these different attributes pertain to the actual web page, beginning with the category color. Um, here we have the icon, and this is the file name, obviously, for the icon, uh, and the name for the node. Uh, as well as the default name for the node, which can change. We have two fields in here, a name and a topic, um, both of which you see respectively on the right. And then lastly, there's a description, uh, which we put at the bottom of the HTML file. Now we'll open up the JSON file, uh, which is a very simple, um, very simple uh, structure. Um, we point it towards the Node-RED contrib demo. Um, we put a description in here. Uh, we can use keywords for um, searching this on the Node-RED website. Um, and then lastly, we call our JavaScript file um, with the subdirectory and the file name. So we'll take this and we will um, drop it into our Raspberry Pi's home directory, uh, home pi. <clears throat> and you'll see now we have the Node-RED contrib demo um, directory. So next we're going to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. And uh, we can open up the home directory here. Uh, if we just grab the list, you can see that we have our node red uh, contrib demo. We're going to go ahead and change uh, into that directory. And checking out the list, we've got our demo nodes uh, subdirectory and our package.json file. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look in the demo nodes uh, subdirectory, make sure that our files are in there. There's our HTML and our JavaScript. We can back out of this and in the file or in the directory that contains your package.json, you want to type sudo npm link. This is going to create a symbolic link in the uh, user lib node modules uh, directory. We'll just go there um, and we'll make sure that it, uh, it did in fact um, link. Now we back all the way out and we're going to go to our node red hidden directory. That's cd uh, uh, slash dot node red. And here we're going to type npm link node-red-contrib-demo. This is the name of our uh, custom node. And once we've done that, uh, we're going to reboot once it returns the message. Now we can just navigate to our node-red uh, web programming page. And if we scroll down into our nodes on the left, uh, there in fact we see our hello world node. Um, so we'll pull that into our project. We will um, pull an inject a timestamp and we will grab a debug node and tie that to the output. Uh, we will deploy this to the Pi. 
and uh, once we cycle the timestamp, we should see a hello world returned from our block. So this is a very generic uh, block, obviously, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what to do uh, to create custom nodes. Thanks for watching.